Okay, on the forum this subject keeps coming up. Uh, a lot of people are putting individual load resistors when they install an LEDs to get their functionality back with the turn signals. Uh, this has been posted up, but I've never made a video of it. I will make a video to show you exactly how simple it is to make this circuit. It's one circuit. It takes care of the whole bike. And there's a few prep work that has to be done. Uh, I'm going to be using some Vichy capacitors, uh, excuse me, resistors, and some uh, diodes. Uh, they're marked here on the table so you can see the numbers. But there's some prep work that has to be done. I want to have to open the eyelet on this in order to set the two runs of the diodes. This is done real easily with a 332nd drill. I'm going to have to go in and drill out this. Uh, area right here but more importantly I'm going to have to walk that drill bit back and forth to open it up long ways and I'll show you the reason why I must do that in this little segment here I will drill this hole out with the 332nd uh, drill bit in this little segment here I'm going to walk this bit back and forth to elongate this hole. Now you can see the reason why I had to open that hole and slide it, or sorry, should I say slide it, in order for these two diode uh, leads to pass uh, in the uh, slots from uh, resistor to resistor. These will be soldered to those uh, terminals coming off of the resistors. Okay, my next step will be to take these 440 stainless steel screws. I'm going to have to turn around and open the holes up. And I'm going to use a number of 43 drill that's for the uh, clearance drill so these screws can pass through the uh, resistor uh, heat sinks in this operation I'm going to open up the two legs on this resistor heat sink and uh, I'm going to transfer punch uh, these holes to a piece of scrap aluminum you can use whatever type of material you want to mount them to uh, use a piece of plastic, whatever, it doesn't really matter. Okay, here is the heat sink with the holes drilled out. That was actually drilled with a number 32. I said 43. The 43 is the tap size. But I'm going to have to use some transfer punches to transfer the uh, hole positions to this piece of scrap aluminum. Once I position the resistors where I want them, I'm going to use this transfer punch and mark the holes where I'm going to drill it out with the number 43 drill. In this little piece here, I'm going to be drilling the hole for the 440 screw. Okay, this is the uh, piece of aluminum with the resistors attached. The holes are, are tapped out. The next step would be to drill some small holes to pass some wires. It's going to go down to the turn signal module. In this little segment here, I'm going to drill some 1 8 holes on each side of these resistors. This will allow me to pass the wire coming up from the turn signal module to uh, this block where they can be soldered uh, to these resistors. You can uh, mount these wires any which way you want to. It really does not matter, but I chose this way 
in order to have the wires drop uh, to uh, backside so we'll have any interference from the top okay this is what that plate's going to look like with the wires that's passed through uh, you can make this arrangement any which way that you want it really does not matter okay this little segment here I want to do a little bit of soldering. These diodes have to be soldered to these resistors, but they have to go on a certain way. If you'll notice, there's a band on each of the diodes. Those bands have to be to the terminal side of the resistor block. If you put either one of these in backwards, the circuit will not work. It will bleed back through uh, to the other side. So if you turn on the right, chances are the left would blink too. These diodes, what they do, they block the current between the two sides, the left and right blinkers. Without the diodes, uh, it, all the blinkers would operate just like a four-way. In this segment here, you'll see that I've attached the red wire, which I'm going to use for the right. I marked the plate left and right. And I'm going to slide some heat shrink over this uh, termination to give it some protection against touching the uh, ground. Alright, in this little segment here you will see that the left and right uh, wires that will go down to the turn signal module are installed in this plate. Uh, you can use some hot glue to help uh, hold these wires down if you want to uh, that's uh, your choice if you want to do that but by using the heat shrink uh, you isolate the uh, wires from ground that ought to be good enough but never say never if you want to use it go ahead alright in this segment here I've ran the green wire, which will be the ground side of this circuit. That green wire you can attach to anywhere on the motorcycle engine, the frame. <clears throat> if you decide to drill this aluminum plate and attach it somewhere else, as long as this bolt that you're using to attach it is going to the ground, you can put a ring terminal on it and ground it that way. The sky's the limit. Ground it the way you want it. In this segment here, what I've done, I stripped back some of the insulation off the wire that's going to go to the right turn signal termination. And I soldered the wire so now it is uh, stiff and it won't uh, spread out and uh, it'll become like a pin. And I'm going to push this through the insulation. Uh, until it makes contact with the back side of the pin that goes to the TCM. If you don't have uh, a seal there, that's even better. In this little segment, you see where the tinned stripped uh, wire, I pass it through the seal that will go into the plug. This is not the plug off the TSM. This is just a plug I have laying around to show you how it is done. The one on my Sportster, that's exactly how I've done it. I pushed it through uh, the back side of the plug. There's no solder involved in it whatsoever at all. It just makes a good contact in there, and that's all you need. Okay, this is the final segment on this. After you have push that wire through the back side of that plug you got to make sure that you have continuity and so this is what I'm going to do here I'm going to check for continuity I can get the wire in there Okay, I couldn't uh, do it one-handed, but you can hear the ohm meter giving the beep showing that this connection is good from that socket up to that board.
good continuity. So now your turn signals will work. And the way this works is the right TSM will send a signal out to the right side of the bike. But since this wire is tied into that socket for that, it sends some of that current to the resistor block. It comes in through here. Current will pass through this diode and it goes to uh, ground and adds the extra resistance as needed to make the turn signal flash. But the diode also blocks the other side so current can't pass through. In the same way, if you go to the left, the current comes in from the TSM. It goes into the resistor block to ground. It cannot pass through here. There's no current that can pass through here to the right side. Now, if you have the four ways, you have current comes in here, current comes in here, and it goes to ground. So both of the... Uh, blocks will act together in parallel for your uh, four ways but it, on a single uh, turn the diode blocks it so it cannot jump from one side to the other.